I want to talk about four steps in getting over your pain on how to heal. Four easy steps. Number one, accept what happened to you. And let me say this, this helped me to get over my pain. And pain that may come to me from other people. Even now. Number one, accept what happened to you. Some people don't want to accept what happened to them. They like to be in denial of what happened. You know, when you say that or choose not to accept what happened to you, you are keeping that wound open. So you are still going to feel pain from it, even when you say or make believe that it did not happen. Or even if you don't accept it happening or even if you don't accept that it happened, you are going to continue to feel pain from it. So you have to accept that it happened, not just like not deal with how that issue is making you feel because you are going to deal with that issue in some type of way and usually people deal with their issues in a very bad way like they take out their frustrations on other people which is so wrong on so many levels that is so evil and so wrong don't do that because the person that you are dealing with may have not done anything wrong to you but because of how you feel you are taking out your frustrations on that person which is making matters worse with them so the whole situation is so messed up don't do that. Number two, forgive anyone that you believe that hurt you. Like I said, if you don't accept what happened to you and forgive people that hurt you, you are going to take that pain out on other people, even your kids. You may believe that you are treating your kids so good and so right, but you unknowingly take out your pain on your kids as well, which when your kids grow up, it is a large potential that they are going to do the same things. So you are not only cursing yourself, but you are cursing your children, if you have any. Well, I am a good mother or a good father. If you are taking out your pain on your kids, how is that good parenting? Think about that. I'm serious. And I am not trying to offend anyone, believe me, because I could do other things. Well, can't really do as much as I used to, but <laughs> I still can do other things. Okay, number three, repent of your sins. God, please forgive me of all my sins. You have to do this. If you want to get over your pain, if you want to heal, you have to accept, forgive, Repent, then, and number four, choose not to think about those negative things. This is the only way. You can take all the medication that you want. You can pop as many pills as you want. You can smoke as much whatever you want. And it is not going to make you feel any better. It is not. I used to be around people that would drink so much and I used to think like, 
what makes a person drink so much? Like, how can they drink so much? Like, I would try to, you know, out drink them and I could not even come close. <laughs> like, not even close. Crazy. And I would think, like, how can this guy drink so much? And later I found out, like, usually those people who would drink, like, so much were usually the people that was hurting inside. Like, I would get so drunk and trying to outdrink a person, like, to the point where, like, I could not see straight. Like, I would have to lay down and sleep because the room would be spinning in circles, you know, like, <laughs> so quick. And I had to close my eyes because I would have just puked everywhere or something or went crazy or something. I don't know. So these are the four steps. The steps that I still use now because I still get hurt. And what humans would like to do, at least what comes to me when I get hurt by people, what comes to me is to think about the issue and continue to think about it and allow all those bad feelings to come upon me, making me feel worse than in some cases like sick and stuff like that. So no matter how much I am irritated or angry at a person, I'm like, hey, yes, they did what they did, but I am going to allow God to deal with that issue. Let me not think about it. Like for instance, there was this one person, very careless, like not once, but many times, or I found out about it twice, but this person may have done it many times, was doing something that could have gotten me in so much trouble. And not only once, but twice. And that really hurt me like dude like i am going through so much already and you are going to do this like that hurt me and then it made me like so mad like really 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 mad and when i was getting mad like that was the only thought that came to my mind over and over again like what that person did like it was replaying over and over and over and over again and I found that the more that I thought about it like the more angry I get and like I could not think about any good thoughts at all but what calmed me down was to accept what happened to me Yes, I am angry about it, but let me accept it, accept what happened to me. Then, second step, I forgave that person. When I forgave that person, I get less mad. And I believe I repented too, because I was really mad, like, so mad. And I chose to not think about it, even when those demons was trying. I'm serious, man. It was really crazy. Like within the first week or two, like those demons were constantly trying to throw those thoughts into my mind over and over and over again. And I had to continue saying no, 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 no. And constantly changing my thoughts. I'm serious now. Does it come to my mind now? Not really. Why? Because I keep tossing it out. 
does any bad things about people or what they have done to me come to my mind every so often, but not that much because I keep tossing it out. No, I am not choosing to think about that. I have accepted what happened. I forgave those people. I am straight. Everything is good. I am not going to treat that person in a mean way because of what they have done to me, even if they say that I am weak for talking to them again or doing things for them again. I don't care what you think. I am doing what God wants me to do. So if you think I am weak, hey, have fun being cursed by God because I don't want to be cursed. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless.